Right, this is Spitting Your Dripper Reviews, and tonight we're reviewing some Clapton wire, which is 26 gauge, Clapton with 32 gauge, and you can get this from UD, Builder's Choice, also off of Sunny UD Insight, Noble Vaping. Um, in this tutorial, you're going to need some wire cutters, you're going to need a small 2mm screwdriver, you're going to need a nice length of Clapton wire, about roughly about sort of four foot in length so that you can fold it into a two foot circle and you're going to need a large cup because tonight's tutorial we're going to show you how to twist Clapton wire without a drill right so what gauge wires are we using buff right at the moment we're using 26 AWG 0.4 millimeter and that's Clapton with a 32 AWG which is 0.2 millimeter a Clapton coil is, a, is made by twisting one or more strands of wire around a single one as the surface area of the wire is increased and lower resistance is achieved. And of course you can get this wire from Noble Vaping, it's called Campful Clapton Resistance Wire by UD and it's 549 for 15 foot. Right, first of all we get the Clapton wire and not using the, 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 the normal middle of the wire we put the normal cut bit of the wire through the cut handle and then you pull the two lengths up together like this so you get them both exactly the same length at the top and at the top here once you've got exactly two same lengths we're just going to twist them off five or six turns so that they can't come undone and basically then we get our screwdriver and we put it in here and we always lean the screwdriver just slightly up, so not downward, so that the wire slides off, you see? Just slightly up, so that the wire can't slide. Now from the bottom of the cup, you just literally hold in the screwdriver at an angle, start spinning the actual wire, spinning the cup, spinning the cup. And what will happen is eventually the tension will get so nice that it will just snap and create one perfectly hand-twisted Clapton where it's not gone too much with a drill and overdone it and also the wire will be perfectly straight as well you watch this effect that we get keep spinning that cup it gets all gradually tighter and tighter and then all of a sudden you get a nice pop and you'll have the perfect clapton twisted and I'll show you a picture of the wire straight afterwards and I'll show you the single wire alongside the, the twisted clapton and this stuff now, this twisted that we're making, unwicked, can hold up to 10 drips of juice. I mean, a serious amounts of juice without being whipped. It's very clever wire. And it has a mind of its own, I like to say, as well. Meaning that it, it just, like, fires like no other wire. It's so really beautifully, you know? As you see, it will just come straight off. There we go, bang. So now... I'll bring this wire up to you close now. I mean, look how stiff it is. Very, very clean. When we come up close, you get that. If my man just touched the screen, it should zoom in for you. Lovely. You get that nice, thick, twisted wire. Right, just pulls up now, and we're going to show you the two wires. Right, looking at the two Clapton wires, as you can see with this singular strand Clapton wire, yeah, I mean, it's very lovely, and I, and I don't know if I can show you, but... Up, up close, I mean it's very, there's millions of little mini twisted wires, if you look by my finger, around a singular wire, but when we've now made this nice beautiful twisted Clapton, look at the, look at the beast and the, and the amount of space and, and juice wells for them to sit in, it's absolutely gorgeous. Right, on the upside, we're going to take this back over to the new 13 Heavens 9 Hells, I'm going to fit this into the dripper and show you what this piece vapes like. Right, we're going to do four wraps with the twisted clapton. Now this comes up as a single coil, a four wrap of twisted clapton on 28, uh, 26 plus 32 uh, gauge. That comes up normally, a single coil will be 0.4 uh, 8 that reads. Now if you put a dual in, which we're, which we're going to do, which is dual fours, they're going to come in at 2.6, I do believe, or 2.2, around that sort of area. So, um, I mean, watch for when we come up on the upside. We're going to speed this up on higher speed in a minute as well. Um, we're just going to show you how we build this coil firstly, the first one. Then once this is done, we're going to speed it up, and obviously you'll see two coils sitting alongside here. 
and then we're going to take it up to the bo the building on the uh, 13 heavens and then basically that's when we'll speed up and show you the faster build and then on the upside of that look at that lovely then on the upside of that let me just get a little zoom in for you beautiful and the upside of that we're going to come and vape on it and show you what it does so yeah from this point on we're going to high speed up see you in a minute right just before we high speed up we're just going to show you what's inside the box now this is your 13 heavens nine hells this is an original authentic cost 42 pound from hog vaping beautiful company very fast come the next day this is the actual rda itself lovely wide bore on that beautiful build space nice twist off top as well not only that once you take off the twist off top you get these outer sleeves that come in the box that have got your air holes on as well as a beautiful pattern that comes on there i believe that's a mayan pattern and uh basically they slide off so basically these outer sleeves once they're off they spill 13 heavens and on the other side nine hills so depending what way that you can you see that that says nine hills and this one says 13 heavens and basically depending what way that you put your sheaths on the outside you can either have it facing you for saying heavens or you can spin it round and have it facing you for nine hills and either way will leave the air holes right in line with your main interior of the RDA now inside I can just pop this out so they're going on like the AV mods yeah. and the limitless mods with their sleeves yeah. now you can have a sleeve on the RDA exactly and they're interchangeable So and you get two of them in the box I mean I believe they come with a silver and a black one or a brass and a black one and obviously I've got the brass and the black one but inside the actual RDA itself look how big them screw holes are I mean they're very beautiful and you get a nice big packet of like all different screw heads and different types of screws as well with Phillips heads with the um normal wing nut head as well as the flat head and a new firing pin as well as other um, rubbers for it and stuff like that lots of goodies but the main thing is is the room space and, and the great big wells inside there's so much to create and there's not an inner sleeve so they don't get in the way as well having that outer sleeve is such a a great give because you get that much more when this goes back on I mean look at the room in there it's, it's absolutely amazing for for doing big coils you know so yeah Anyway, let's get to the outside of this box. You've got the palm tip, the normal wide bore, which is not, obviously not pull apart, it's part of one piece, screws in. Can be a bit of a, I mean, on the downside, it can be a bit of a pain in the ass if you're dripping and you want to keep unscrewing this off. But I mean, it's wide enough to just drip straight through the top anyway, to be fair. I mean, look at that. It's a big old tunnel. And basically, this is the other one, which is the palm tip, which is screw on again. But the good thing about this is you can take out the actual palm drip and drip through here so you don't once this is screwed in you don't have to keep unscrewing you can just pop off the palm now you have a small wide bore and then you have the other one that comes in the box which is the acrylic wide bore and this one can just pop straight in here and you're back to your original size of wide bore but with a palm tip so it's easier for dripping um, basically that's all inside the box as you can see there with with the little nuts and bolts as I like to call them and uh, yeah like I said from this point we're gonna we're going to get this little beast here, this little beauty, and we're going to uh, load her up with the, the dual twisted Claptons. Let's have a better view on that. Oh, that has come out a little bit. We're going to get... <laughs> it's not wanting to zoom. Oh, never mind. Anyway, on the upside, we're going to take this and get this with some dual Claptons in. And uh, yeah, see you on the high speed side. Right, back on the other side, and as you can see, we've built the dual four wrap twisted Claptons, and they're reading at 0.21. And as you can see, when we fire them up, we're just going to pulse them up a minute and get a little, let's see if I can zoom in a bit better first. Right, and as we fire them up, they're going to start glowing now. Should come from above. We're going to pinch them in a minute, obviously. I'm just showing you that they're absolutely getting white hot just from a few little mini presses. That's only at 75, 80 watt. All right. 
and then now we're going to uh, pinch these up and we're going to get them wicked up and we're going to show you what these bad boys do on the other side see you in a minute Right, as you can see, we're fully wicked up now. She's looking good. And basically, we're going to be loading her up with some of this little beauty here, which is 12 Monkeys Manga Base, 30 ml bottle, 3 milligram nicotine. Absolute beauty of a taste. And uh, yeah, so we're going to now we're going to just put some of this on here and get this wick all juiced up, and then we're going to show you what this beast does. Nah. The way that it just sinks straight through them coils are so lovely. Absolute guzzlers. Not in a way that they drink, in a way that they hold so much juice. It's really nice. As you can see, she's spitting like a good and absolute, absolute beast. Once you find, we've only got that on normal. We ain't even hitting that on hard on the setting or nothing. So, as you can see, lovely. Right, let's get her built up. Well, as I said before, you can put on the palm tip head, which is this one, and then when you pull the palm tip out, obviously it saves unscrewing, and then you can just juice straight through into the wall, as you're going to see now. Straight in, bang, bang, lovely for dripping. Then in goes your palm tip, bosh, straight in, lovely, jubbly. And she looks quite a beauty on the, on the actual. Let's see. Do you want to do the uh, tap the screen for me? Just get that to zoom in. There we go. Beautiful. Right, let's see how she vapes. Right, this is the 13 Heavens Nine Hells. Uh, twisted dual wrap Clapton's uh, 26 gauge wrap brand, uh, Clapton brand 32 gauge. Um, basically, dual coils that we've put in here reading at 0.21. And we're just going to test it at 100 watts on the X Cube 2. And this is with Manga Base, which I do believe is around the 80 VG mark. Don't hold that against me, we'll go and check that out in a minute and add that back in the review. Right, this is at 100 watt. Oh, the flavour. Oh, wow. And I reckon that's still a, a nice cool vapour at 100 watt. I still think we can take that up very much. We'll do that in a minute. It's going to blast one more. Oh my god, I mean clouds for days, absolute, absolute chucking, absolute, the flavour, through the roof, real, real flavour. I mean I've used Mango Bays many a time in, in other drippers, as well as other tanks. I've got the TVF4 as well, um, don't get me wrong, very nice flavour in that, but in, in these drippers, like I explained to a lot of the guys on, on um, World of Vaping, they're just something else, it takes the flavour to a whole number level, if you get the coil build right, if you, if you use something that can hold a lot of juice, you seem to get more flavour, not just like a standard camphor build or a twisty camphor. It's not too bad, don't get me wrong. The more you get the gauging in and you get them shapes from the from the wire, that's where the juices lie. And I think this is what Clapton gives you, that nice sort of flavourability. Right, let me just check in. What are you actually using for wick? Ah, oh, at the moment, the wick that we're using, I'll actually get you some of that to show you. We are using this stuff here, which is by UD. And this you can get on Noble Vaping as well. Lovely bit of organic cotton that is, absolute beautiful. I think this works out about two pound on Noble Bacon. Absolute beautiful wick. Um, right, we're going to take this up. We'll take this up to um, let's go from hundred watt up to hundred and ten watt. Just see what it vapes like like that. I'll keep an eye on the juice levels one sec. Yeah, that's lovely. Still saying nice and juicy. All right, let's go hundred and ten watt. Oh wow! Again, now it's pulling out the, the sugars and the um, the high end quality of the fruits. Like um, absolutely, the, the citrus comes right through when you're going up in the vape. There's no heat on the tip at all. The flavour is amazing. So so much vape. 
It's hard to explain. I mean, look, I'm talking now after the blow and it's still coming out of me. Absolute, absolute gorgeous. Let's try going up to 120. Let's take a little bit more of a liberty. Right, let's just check the juice levels. Little tiny, maybe a bit in there. Just pause up one sec while we do. Right, basically, we're hitting this now at 120 watt and it's on 0.2 on um, dual claptons, as I said before, twisty claptons, in fact. Um, four wrap over a three millimetre bit. Um, this thing is chucking absolutely great. Not getting too hot around the 110 marks. So we now took it to 120 and we're gonna see what she fires like. I've just reduced her up with mango bays like I said before. Right, let's go. Again, not not real heat coming through, no no chest pain, no um like bad drag, you know, like like sometimes when you go up in heat, you get like not so much a burning here, which you're not getting at all, but you you seem to up the temperature in the, in the vape, and this isn't doing that so much. It's very, I mean, amazingly, 120 watt at 0.2, and it's still. Right, let's try it again. And I mean, from this thickness and the, and the flavour, you can tell it's just taking it to a whole nother level with with the dripping side of things and I can really see why people love their dripping. There's two sides to us on the Spit Your Dripper reviews that we do on YouTube. Um, basically there's a good side to us and there's a bad side to us. Not a bad side as in we're bad but um, like a good cop, bad cop. I'm the guy that gives you all the good reviews and my partner who's filming at the moment, he's going to be giving you some of the downsides to, to what we've reviewed today. So um, I'm going to hand you over to him, I'm going to let him have some vapes on this and then we're going to go through some stuff on the downsides. Right, as far as the juice goes, 12 monkeys, manga bees, I've got nothing bad to say about that, um, big we, company, we, big shout out to them. We like to call it manga bees knees. <laughs> he likes to call it manga bees knees, <laughs> uh, we like all their flavours, but um, that's enough amazing. about the juice. Downside to having this tip. The 13 heavens. The 13 heavens tip is you have to screw it in. A lot of people like to just pop their tips out like that. Obviously, with this one, you can't. You've got to unscrew it. So just we we like being to a bit the picky, pump. but that, as as vapors, we are a bit picky. We like what we like. Exactly. Um, so that's one downside to it. The it's good, not really a downside. No, because it's quite quite a wide board. It's well made. You could still drip right through the top, couldn't you? Really? Yeah, you could. You can you know? drip straight into it, but but we do prefer the pump. Yeah, personally, I prefer to be able to pop it out, drip it, put it back in. Um, I'm going to have a little vape. It's chucky in. The flavour's mental. It is mental. But nothing bad to say about the flavour at all. This is nice. This, this RDA is really nice. Also, with a good cop, bad cop thing, we've got Co over there. He's a flavour chaser. He loves the flavour. Don't get me wrong, I like the flavour, but I'm a cloud chaser. I've got the same juice in my little AV buster there. Nice little just flat campful build. No twisted, no clapton, no nothing. It's not too bad. The flavour's nice, but nothing compared to this new RDA by 13 Evans, 9Ls. Nothing nothing compares to this at the minute. I'd say I'm the bad cop. And I'm saying this is my number one RDA at the minute. Flavour's mental. And she's chucking as well. 120 watts. She's a bad girl. Right. As far as the bad cop thing, bad things about it. The only thing we can find bad, but it's not really bad. It's just through preference is the, the other tip. We prefer this tip, obviously, because we like to take it out and drip through the top. Whereas with that, you've got to unscrew it, and if you get all fuddled, and you'll end up dropping stuff and denting your stuff, and then it won't fit together properly, and you won't enjoy your vaping. So uh, I'm going to have a cheeky vape. See, one second pause, flavour's mental. Right, this has been our review on the uh, 13 Evans 9Ls. Um, for flavour chasing, it's mental. For cloud chasing, it's mental. I'll give it a 90%. Um, 
if you want to get your Clapton coils from where we get them from, made by UD, we put the link underneath. Big shout out to Noble Vaping. Uh, big shout out to Sunny Udin. World of Vaping 24-7. Um, this has been Spitting Your Dripper Reviews, and we'll be back next time with a different review. Hope you like it.